Hi beautiful and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to show you guys how I got this look, this crimped middle part. This hair did come colored like this and it's a unit from Unice Hair who is sponsoring today's video so shout out to them. All information on this hair will be linked down below. And if you want to know how I got this look, how you can get these crimps and get this super bomb install with your baby hair touching your eyebrows. Um, go ahead and keep watching and we can get on into it. Hey, so originally I was supposed to do those crimps and then um, I'm gonna be doing curls at some point <laughs> towards the end of the video. So guess what, you get two styles in one video. Watch me go ahead and style the way I styled it before. And then once we get wrapped up with that, I'm gonna be like, hey, I'm not really liking that. I'm gonna come on back and show y'all how I got these curls. So stay tuned for that. And now let's really get to the video. <laughs> Hey, welcome back. I didn't even know I was gonna do this, but I think I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna sit here and talk. I don't really like plan on that, but here I am. I did my ball cap off camera because I ain't did a ball cap in, in uh, several of months. So I had to make sure I knew how to do it still. And I did, so it's on. I know you like this is not a plucking tutorial, and I'm knowing that. But I really just didn't think this red wig was the one for that. Um, Cause I don't know how to bleach red knots too good. So I do it and it kind of make no sense. And then like I wear it anyway. And that's why I just ball cap on cause I think it's kind of necessary. But um, I got on lashes. I done pull my lashes out on my period. I don't want to be done. So let's put on this red fucking wig to match the red depth that is plaguing me right now. Here is the unit. I'm about to show you guys really quickly um, in a voiceover how I did these crimps. It is 26 inches. It is a body wave texture and I did crimp it, but we can go ahead and look at that process really quick and then we get it to installing. That's the only voiceover portion of this video, so you're welcome. Now this hair's texture is a body wave, so that's how it comes throughout the pack. Before I washed it, before I tried to bleach them knots, um, before anything happened, this is how it came out the pack. Looking real shiny, looking real lustrous, but here's what it looks like after I did wash and blow dry and crimp the back. I'm just gonna show you guys a small section of the back that I did just so you can guys can see but this process is so repetitive this is I'm dropping a wig this process is so repetitive that like you once you see this you're gonna get it like you're gonna get it boom comb it out get you a small section I told you how big the section should be in that previous clip get you some bastion shaper plus some bastion shaper plus get you some of that and then I don't like to comb it through anymore um, after trial and tra trial and error through the whole thing just let, let's sit on there you know get it coated and then go ahead and hold that crimper on there for about a good 10 to 15 seconds this is a Vidal Sassoon crimper my mom, it was my mom's I don't have no link for this I mean I could try to find one but I don't know how long she had this my mom my mom is is a grown woman so <laughs> she's a grown woman so it's an old uh Oh, crimper. All right, not to call my mom old. I love you, mom. Please don't think I'm calling you old. This is, I don't know where she got this at. Boom, crimping. See how long it took me to do that? Like, it took me like five minutes just to do that one little piece. Here, I'm gonna show you again just so you can really get it. Spray it. Once you spray it, you clamp it. You clamp it, you hold it. 10 seconds, move on. You move on again. You just keep moving on until you get that whole section done. And make sure you make your sections even so that you don't have any straight hairs messing up the crimps. It's a very easy thing to do. I just think I could have crimped it a little better, but you know, it was bleeding on my vagina, so I didn't have much to give, I guess. There we go, boom. Finished it off, there it is. Here's what the back is looking like before I got started on the front and the install. That's how I got the crimps. Isn't it so, aren't you so glad that I didn't show you guys like the whole thing, that would've been annoying. Here's what the front was looking like. I did pluck it and I promise that plucking tutorial is coming soon. Back to the video. Now that you saw how I got the crimps, we can get on to installing. I'm gonna use my Erica J Hold Me Down glue today. And I already have one layer of glue already on. I don't I don't need this wig to stay on for for three billion years. I'm gonna just do one layer, stick it, stick it down. Hopefully that work out. If I gotta do two, I'll do the two, but realistically I would like to do the one. So let's throw this wig on so we can cut off this ear tabs and get on into it. I feel like I need to put just a little bit of this tinted spray on my head. So I'm gonna do a little bit on like the black part. Fan it down, dry it down. My broke ass fan. Fan it a little bit. Okay, now that I officially look bald headed, the slap on the wig after I cut off the lace on the back. Y'all know how embarrassing it is to have your lace in the back already still there. You ain't cut it off. You you out and about in public and the wind blow, and suddenly everybody see that you didn't cut off the lace in the back of your wig. Like that's real embarrassing. So 
to cut it off. Also, I feel like this lace in the front is going to piss my eyes off because I have on lashes. So we're just going to go ahead and cut off a little bit of this excess lace off rip. This wig seems like it's going to fit right to where it needs to fit at, so that's good. Yeah, so I didn't record me bleaching these knots because I didn't do a good job. So that's that. I'm going to try again when I get a black wig, and I'm pretty sure I could kill that. So look, stay tuned for that. I promise I'm not lying. I'm going to do it. It ain't much hair. Like, the hair stopped literally right here. So let's just go ahead and cut to, you know, where that is. So it's just like barely fitting my head, like just barely. Something I do have breaks. Like I usually prefer for me to be cutting off the excess lace right now instead of just like, not the excess lace, the excess like hairline at this point. But since, you know, it isn't no hairline, this is just literally excess lace. It's like, I feel like it's gonna fit a little weirder. And I, I don't have like, I don't know. I don't have full range of my sideburns, but I'm gonna work it out. I'm gonna figure it out because that's the kind of bitch I am. I just put my two slits in my lace and we can push it onto the back. Erica J, hold me down. The honey pot pads is nothing to play with. My coochie is very cold right now. I just know y'all need to know that. Okay, boom, glue on the forehead. I really love these edge brushes that they be sending me lately with the little spatula on the end. It's real smart. Like, shout out to y'all. Shout out to Unites. Nice. I don't think Unites gave me one of these, but they gave me a nice bonnet. So. Boom, glue is drying. It seems like it's gonna be tacky immediately, so I'm just gonna pull down this lace. Make sure it's where it need to be compared to everything else. Almost all I didn't know where my comb was, but y'all know I can't be out here acting like I was in my last video. That is embarrassing. Boom! I'm thinking it's pressed in. I think we can move on to this side. How's y'all's day going? Like, did somebody piss you off today? Like, did anything happen? Like, is your boss, like, really getting on your last nerve? You finna quit? Like, what's going on in your life? I'm curious. Once I get enough um, spread on there, like I said, I'm gonna use my little spatula. This is a real upgrade. Oh, wait, hold on. I got some paper towel on my shit. This is a real upgrade from the eyebrow razor I've been using since the beginning of my channel. Anyway, gonna go ahead and finish. I don't want to be completely dry. I just want it to be, you know, a little transparent and still tacky. And this side is all down, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side off camera and I'll be back when it's time to raise off the lace. Y'all know how I like to do it. Don't do it straight across. Put a little flick of the wrist in it. Follow your heart, follow your dreams. Chase a, chase a bag, don't worry about what I'm doing. And now we have some lace. That's good. Boom. And when you just cut it in that like motion, it really hides the fact that, you know, this lace is not transparent. It's very much Swiss brown lace. We are making it work. I'm not pissed at it, but it's, you know, it ain't transparent lace. So I have bought three pump it ups. Well, here's two of them. And you know what happens to the top every time? It gets, it gets fucking stuck. I did this for my ball cap. I just stuck my little, my little spatula up in the bottle. Like this, like so. And I'm gonna just touch it up like that. I got my blow jar sitting right here with me. It's gonna be on a cool setting. And just to, you know, touch up the lace. Use my pump it up spray, and I'm just like pressing the lace on in with the product. Use my blow dryer on a cool setting and just make sure everything is dry. And this process is going by really fast. Like, let's get into it. Maybe we don't need three layers of glue to look good. piece of um wig cap back here that was supposed to be a part I mean covered up but since you know this wig is like this I hope I did not just cut off my hair all right cool so that's gone now now I'm gonna do the other side and then we can do baby hair now everything is nice and melted and the wig is on and the reason I'm gonna do my baby hair before I do the crimps is because like 
how am I gonna crimp the hair? I don't wanna mess up the pattern of the crimps, you know? So I'm just gonna do the baby hair now. Once I get my little sea of baby hair, we'll stop kidding ourselves. This is adult hair. Once I get my adult hairs out the way I like them to be, I'm gonna use my hot comb. And then I'm gonna also get out my sideburn. Sebastian Shaper Plus. Um, before I do that though, I am gonna go ahead and cut my baby hairs. I've been doing it this way. Do a little twisty twist and uh, boom. Now, Sebastian Shaper Plus. I'm gonna repeat the same process on the bottom. I got my bed head flat iron plugged in and I'm just gonna give it a little curl and hopefully not burn the fuck out of my forehead in the process. Could have been better. Okay, I'm gonna do it again because it could have been better. I don't know why it's looking like this. There we go. Okay, them other curls is not curling the way this one is. There we go. Okay, now that I got my curl the way I want it to look, I got my edge fixer and I'm gonna put a little bit on top of the, the root of it. They're not as curls as I usually have them, but they're not like bad. So I'm not going, y'all know how I get. I'm gonna see if I curl the other side better. Hopefully I do, but this baby hair, I don't got, I don't, I'm on my period. I'm trying my best. I'm gonna do the other side off camera. I'm gonna come back when I'm done and I'm pleased with everything. I was wondering why I wasn't burning myself and it's cause the bitch was on 200 degrees. I'm like, why ain't it curling? It, it didn't have the capabilities to curl. I'm gonna try this again on this side. Hopefully just do what it needed to do because that was embarrassing. Embarrassing me in front of company. Like that's ridiculous. Yeah, there we go. So that's how you curl it for real. I was just playing on that side. You know, I was just playing, I was just playing. Baby hair is done. One side is thinner than the other, but um, I don't really have time to care about that right now, so I don't. My middle part is definitely not in the middle. I'm realizing that now. It's time to fix that, so let me look myself in the eye and get my shit together. And this is why you don't do your shit on, on a mannequin head, because you're going to think your part straight whole time. It's not, you know? Now that my part is in the middle, I'm just gonna frame my face the way it needs to be framed, like with the hot comb. So just by getting this up out the way, fixing up this little front part. And before we even get into, you know, crimping, I'm gonna pluck this middle part because I wait for me to be plucking and then my crimp's messing up. You know, it's not fun. So plucky time. Because the red knots on this wig are like red knotting hard as shit. This wig is red, like, and the knots are too. Yeah, this is already looking so much better. you like, you see that? Like, I've, I've, I've got skin showing through now. Before I didn't have any of that. So now my part is a lot clearer than it was before. I didn't want to pluck too much because, you know, that can interfere with other hairstyles. I'm just here to make it a little more apparent that I got a middle part. I'm going to spray a little bit of Smash and Taper Plus on top, hot comb going, and just get this last final, you know. I'll go ahead and do this side on camera. I'm going to split this in about two, three sections. Now, combing it through. Y'all seen this in the little snippet where I showed you how I did the back. But this is the front, so I'll show y'all this too. Y'all know, I'm gonna just bust through this and I'll see y'all when I'm finished. Cause it ain't shit to talk about. I'm gonna see your arm falling asleep. So I ain't show y'all the whole head. So yeah, let me grab this front part and I'll see y'all when I get finished. And then for this front piece right here, I want it to be like at an angle so it can frame the face. And that's what I was talking about. 
and then I'll sit here for another 10 minutes with my arm hanging here. Okay, the crimps are finally done. And now's the time to fix up everything, make sure everything is from the face it needs to, the way it needs to and everything. Um, I really like the way this is already looking. So I'm gonna just, you know, make it a little bit more. Let's spray a little bit of this. Yep. And then, let's hit it again. And then I'll go ahead and hit it like that. Final, final touches. A little bit of hairspray on the top so I can hot comb the whole top down flat. Or I can hit one of these. Let's see if this works. Is this gonna work? Who knows? Is it gonna work? A little bit. And so, boom, here is the hair. My final Raymond Noodle look. You know, I got my waist trainer on. It's summertime. Let's get right. And also, it's really good with like cramps. I could do this again. I don't feel like it. I'm tired. Let me go to bed. Here's the final look. I'll be back in a second with a lip on so I can get my final thoughts. And <laughs> I'll be back in a second. So, I know I just said I was gonna be done and wrap that up, but um, yeah, I really wasn't um, feeling it. I, I think I, I told y'all about a good billion, jillion times that I was on my period. Now it's like day four. It was like day two and one and a half when I was recording that. So I just wasn't here. And I was trying to like the air and I just wasn't. And so I just knew at some point I was going to have to come up here and curl it for y'all. So guess what? I'm going to show y'all how I do this look right here really quick, really quick. Because I already wasted y'all's time making y'all watch me crimp it. I want to make this easy, I'll make it fast, because you know, for one, I'm not even that good at curling hair. You know, I don't know how it looked this good. Probably because the hair physician on TikTok, she's the owner of Boho, she leaves so many like helpful TikToks on her page, and she had a really good curling one, and I learned you know, from her directly, she taught me how to curl my hair. Before I got started, I went ahead and trimmed some layers in the front. Not nothing crazy, because I want to be able to wear this hair in different styles, not just curled. So I just added a slight trim to the front to just frame the face really good. So I went ahead and separated my hair in two sections, put one up, put one down, and I got started curling. I'm curling towards my face, like inward. I used to curl outwards, but I think I really like the way it frames the face when you curl inwards. So that's the curl I'm going for. All you want to do is just wrap the hair around around the curling iron in the direction you want to go in and then um, if it's too big of a section you probably want to like force it to be in that place because I'm going to drop hair a lot of times like a lot of times but I figured it out and this side is a side that I wasn't even sure that I was going to be good at and it looked way better than this side and I felt like I was curling it on this side also I really burnt the fuck out of my forehead and I also feel my hair after I did it like I hurt myself to create this look I didn't use any spray because I have so much spray left over on the hair from the crimps that I did. So I just curled it raw. When I got to the front, I'm doing the same thing. Curling inward, curling inward, curling inward. Once my lashes and my lips were on, I went ahead and started taking my hair down. And at that point, I realized that this side wasn't exactly doing what this side was doing. So I had to, you know, throw a few curls on the front. And that's what you see here that's like really mimicking the same side. And now we're here. I'm just so glad I ran that down for you real quick. You didn't expect to get two looks in one video, except this is the title now. Um, when I made this video, it was definitely looking at me doing crimps. Um, until the crimps just wasn't scratching that itch for me. But um, these curls, these curls are, I'll say that for y'all. Y'all probably tired of seeing this little skim set. See, the hair is curled, but like this side ain't really do what this side did. I think I really got my stride on this side. So, you know, if you have a hard time curling hair, don't feel too bad about it because it's not the easiest thing in the world. I believe this is a 24 inch um, unit. It could be 26, but it's even 24 right now. Um, maybe that's because it's curled, but all information on this hair will be linked down below. I've had this hair in my head for a few days, and <laughs> I'm so glad it's lasted me like so long. Like, I think it's one layer of glue. Why are we doing more than one layer of glue? I'm realizing it now. Why do we need five layers of glue? Why do we need, ooh, okay, hold on, my actually coming up. Maybe we need to reevaluate that. Maybe we need to go back in the, in the, in the, in the conference room, have another meeting about why we was doing that. Is it necessary? No, my wig, like usually my wigs are so itchy on my hairline, and it's just like all this time I could have just been using less glue. That's what I learned from this video. I also learned, don't come on, on your YouTube channel trying to record a video when you started your period yesterday. Like it just don't make sense, you know? Like you know Julia, you know you like to sit down and do not shit when your period comes. So that was my bad. 
and I would just like to apologize for period Julie and how she was acting. She tried her best though, for sure. I'm feeling myself again. I'm back in my judge. I like my hair now. I think it's gotta get cut. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm really sorry that, um, well, you guys probably won't know. This, this took me four days. Like, my period was trying to take me out. Trying to take me out. But I'm back. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Sorry it's a bit all over the place, but if I didn't tell you that I had to come back and I was on my period, I probably, I probably could have acted like this didn't happen for real. So, that was my bad. That's all I gotta say for real, for real. I'm about to wrap this up because I'm tired of talking y'all's ear off. And I've been working on this video for four days. Let's go ahead and cut it out. I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. Be sure to check the description box for all the information. Check out another video. I got more videos. We're about to be popping up at the end of a second. Watch one. You ain't even watch my videos. You got hella videos you ain't watched in a long time. And they're stocking up. I'm like, go watch the past ones that you missed. In the meantime, I'm gonna fuck with you. I'm gonna see my next one. Bye, beautiful.